Hello again everybody and welcome back to another review. Today I'll be reviewing a great figure, Soldier Story, 3rd Falsham Jaeger Division, Arden 1944. It was released in 2010 and still holds up despite the age. What stands out for this figure is without a doubt his Panzerschreck rocket launcher. He portrays a Falsham Jaeger who would be fighting during the Arden Offensive during World War II. Considering he has no winter gear, it would be more likely that he would be uh, tank hunting during the Normandy campaign instead. But that's just my opinion. Tank hunting teams of German paratroops wreaked havoc on US armour during the Normandy campaign, using the Hedge Rose to great effect. What's also neat about this figure is that he comes with an American M1 carbine. As I mentioned before, I really like figures that come with uh, uh, captured gear, you know. It uh, really gives the figure personality. I've read that the carbine was uh, popular with German troops due to its small size. Let's take a closer look at the figure. Let's start with the head. As you can see, it comes with a very nice uh, German paratrooper helmet in a tan color with chicken wire. Very nice. It also comes with a very great head sculpt, but I'm not actually like, sure who it's supposed to be based on. It kind of looks like a combination of uh, What's his name? Ed Harris, the actor, and uh, Christoph Waltz. But just, just my opinion. And of course, he comes with a very beautiful uh, camo smock in the marsh pattern, if I'm not wrong. And of course, his uh, Panzer Faust. Ah, excuse me, Panzer Shrek. Very nice. Comes with a sling too. And on his back, you can see the M1 carbine. I'll give you a better shot later. And he comes with a Luger and holster. Very nice. One stick grenade. Oh, over there. And it comes with this uh, box, which you can put the Panzer Strike rounds in. Very nice. It's made of wood and metal too. And lastly, it comes with very great uh, paratrooper boots. I find it interesting that they are brown in colour instead of the usual black. I don't know if they actually came in this colour, but it's very nice regardless. Here we can see the weapons the figure comes with. A very impressive array. Of course, let's start with the star of the show, the Panzer Shrek. Very nice, made of wood and metal. It even comes with a very nice uh, coat of camo, which is unique to this figure, if I'm not wrong. A sling, very nice, and the trigger. It actually works. And the shield in the front. It also comes with this uh, box of uh, rockets, which can hold two. An additional one. Oh, for the record, if you try and put the additional shell into the Panzer Strike, it kind of falls out, so I wouldn't recommend it. And it comes with one stick grenade, always nice. And of course, the M1 carbine, made of wood and metal also. Ammo pouch, with two extra magazines inside. And of course, his Luger, also very nice. But unlike the other two weapons, it's actually made of plastic. But regardless, it looks awesome. Honestly, I don't have any issues with this figure and I highly recommend him. Thank you again for joining me on this review and I hope to see you all again soon. Ciao!